crap, more dogs. Crap, crap. I didn't see these guys. Alluring skull. Okay. All right. That's the thing that you use for uh, to pursue people, uh, to bring people to you. This thing to the left is different. This one to the left is different. Why are they all pointing to that direction? I think they were going to the castle to where that uh, lady was, and they kind of wait. Homeward bone, okay. Why is there a wyvern here? And a lot of items. This thing is gonna live and it's gonna kick my ass. I think this is gonna happen. I, this. Wait a minute. Uh, let me just uh, use this. Um. One item. It doesn't seem like a fighting arena, but it seems like this thing is gonna breathe fire. Or maybe he actually fell down from the sky and broke the bridge while they were on the pilgrimage. Seems more like it. <laughs> Wait, what? Please grant me death. Undo my shackles. What? <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll have a look at it with the binoculars, but um, what's with that guy? He wants me to kill him. I'll have a better look, maybe I missed something. Let me just go back to where I was and then I will look at him a bit better. Maybe I did miss something. I don't know, I tend to miss stuff here and there sometimes. Hmm, that's not a great spot to see. I think from the top it would be great. Here. Uh, you had now you had a look, you just... Ah, oh, okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. But I mean, did I miss anything? Um, I thought maybe you you saw me looking at him and then... Uh, you wanted me to see it even closer or something? I think this thing just fell down from the sky, broke the bridge. They were trying to go up to that lady because we've seen a lot of them there. But this guy, he wants me to grant him death. Why? Can we talk to him though, like before I kill him? If I have to kill him. Oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of what? Ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yoel of Londor, a pilgrim as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say. Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Okay, th these guys are supposed to die. They're meant to die. And he wanted me to kill him because, you know, he felt like he did not achieve his destiny. And now he feels like maybe he has a different purpose, different destiny. Maybe this guy is supposed to teach me some spells and stuff like that, right? Except he's gonna go back to Firelink Shrine, maybe? Perhaps I should find him there. Um, by the way, the other friend, the one I opened the jail for, I think, I think... He went back to Firelink Shrine, but I did not check. I should check. Let's accept oh, this thing, of course. I am honored. I wonder if I decline. Would this guy, like, go I and jump off dead. the <laughs> ledge? Yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, 
do solemnly swear myself to you. Yolofondo. These guys disappear. Pencer? A uh, pencer from Pokemon, maybe? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. It's interesting. Before I go forward, maybe I should check Parling Shrine. I will check this area first. Maybe I missed something here or there. Maybe inside one of these carriages. Maybe they were actually uh, bring bringing the dogs with them. In these carriages. And then they were released or something. Or what, would, what were they carrying with them? These guys took a beating. Uh huh. Fiddlesticks once more. Okay, well, before we go to that to that area, I think we are nearing the end of the stream. It's 9.48, so I think it, we are nearing the end of the stream. I should go upstairs, go back to Firelink Shrine, see if we have any of those friends there, talk to them if they are there. And uh, if not, then we end the stream, and tomorrow at the same time, I'm going to actually continue uh, the broadcast one more time. Let me just go here. But seriously, I'm really enjoying the game, and I'm enjoying it even more with people because I've never experienced this honestly I mean it's really hard to find people in real life that are interested in games and, and at least in my re uh, my area of the world you know my region of the world in Dubai and stuff it's really hard to find people who are they generally look at games as like they are childish stuff you know and uh, that kind of puts you down you don't really want to talk to people about stuff like that flank shield that's the thing they give you when you are deprived so let's go ahead and try to find those guys. This oh, this guy usually gives uh, not in this game, in the previous Ooh, games. Yet to give in, eh? Good. The firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these lords of Cinder? These supposed legends. Let's take Aldrich for one. A right and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig. Then softened into sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep. And wow. they made him a Lord of Cinder. Not for virtue, but for might. Such as a Lord, I suppose. But here I ask. Do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> but I wonder though, is he telling the truth or maybe he is just uh, sinister and he's not sinister, like spiteful, you know, he's angry and he doesn't want to... He's just giving me the bad stuff. At the foot of Lothric Castle. An old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it leads. If you've the stones for it. <laughs> okay, well, now he's talking about the foot of the wall of the castle or um, he goes to a settlement I think this is the wooden part but is he talking the way with of the dragon or the way to the way to the dragon or the way to the uh, you know, fiddlesticks and they were these caravans they were transporting sacrifices then they're not the dogs or maybe the pilgrims were the sacrifices because they are, that guy said he's supposed to die. And uh, this guy actually eats men. Hmm. Okay, I don't know which one is it. At the foot of Lothric. Yeah, uh, he's gonna just repeat it. An old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. It was used to transport sap if you 
Okay, so this guy actually just keeps repeating what he's gonna say. I thought he's gonna say some more, but maybe if you beat a boss or something and you achieve a milestone, he kind of... Oh, there you go. That's one of the guys. That's the friend. Oh, hello, you're back. I'm in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just Holy don't stuff. ask me where I got them. And the lab. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's sell him some items first before buying anything because I have some a bunch of crap I don't want. I'm not gonna sell any of the swords. I will s sell though any kind of repeats that I get. Long oh, we have a long sword. I may try that. Another NPC. Uh, the ones I've seen are this guy, the one on the um, throne, the lady, the old lady, and the um, the anvil guy. And uh, I've just found the uh, mage, I suppose. That's his name. Proficiency. I think he will be in this area. And this guy. Are you talking about someone else? Let's sell this. I'm not gonna use that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. What is this? That's his soul, though, I think, right? Yeah, soul of Bora. Okay, now. I missed one. Okay, I'll I'll try to look a bit better. Give me um. I'll talk to this guy. Finish talking to him. Then I'll just go around. Uh, try to find someone. Maybe I did find him, but I'll try. I'll try to find him. Give me a sec. Do me a favor and don't forget our promise. Yeah. Give the ring. this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. At the base of the high wall. A nuisance, I know, but it will help me tie up some. Okay. Do me a thing. Get a news. Something he says. Okay, let's see what he sells. He sells blood moss. Blood red moss. Now it's called. Okay. This is for bleeding, right? Yeah. This is bleeding build up. We have the knives. We have the long swords. We have a bunch of stuff. This is the bandit's knife. We have a spear. I want a spear, actually. I want to try using a spear. Round shield. This is, I think, the typical thing that we get. This is fire? Fire arrow. Okay. Maybe I'll buy some. How many souls do I have? I can buy 10. Hmm. Maybe I should just... Hmm. What is this though? Rope fireball. Thrown behind. Explosion 15 fire. What? Filled with the black powder and no difference than fireball, save for the direct, save for the direction in which it's thrown. It enables a different fighting style and flexibility in adjusting to one circumstance. So if I'm fighting someone, I can just throw it behind me. It's interesting. I'm not sure how to use it though. Like how, what's the point of using it? But I mean, I think there will be a point though. He sells three amber, and I think she sold also about three embers. I'm gonna buy them all. Fire arrows might be useful, might not be, I don't know, but it's still I have a lot of uh, souls on me. I don't want to lose them Goodbye. by dying. Bye, dude. And stay safe. Okay, I like this guy. Oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> oh, so he, he is stealing these items from people. That's why he said don't ask me about uh, where I got them from. That's the mage. Champion of this pilgrim. I skipped it. With a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this and assure you of my leal service. Let's draw out true strength. Let's talk As first. I have said, 
I was once a sorcerer. Okay. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. Beckham. As I have said, a lot, but I can I believe we pilgrims of those. Okay, let's see what first what he sells. He sells Okay, soul arrow, heavy soul arrow, magic weapon, magic shield. I've never tried any of these stuff. I'm not sure if they are good or not. I mean, I've seen some people use them in uh, Dark Souls 1 and 2 after I beat the game. I saw some let's plays, but I've never seen someone who actually used them like effectively. You know, they were always like this finicky thing that sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not. I believe heavy soul arrow and stuff like that you know they should be good I've never tried them myself I don't know if you have any suggestion suggestions I would be open to it you know let's see draw out then shall we begin bearer of the dark sign let your true strength shine wait I'm level 21, he keeps me level 21, if I do this I'm gonna become level 22 but I spend nothing. Maybe this guy... Maybe this guy gives me an extra... It leads to an ending, okay. Alright, uh, it seems... Um, I'm not sure if actually this... It seems kinda weird. First of all, I level up paying nothing. If I would do something like this, I would do it like way late in the game because I spend no souls and I think late in the game I'm gonna be, I'm gonna need a lot of souls to, to level up. That's number one. Number two, this guy said some stuff that were kind of, well first of all he was a sacrifice, so I don't really trust him. Secondly, he said some stuff that were kinda fishy. I'm not gonna do it anyway right now. I may do it late in the game, but I think I might get some information about him later. If you choose to pursue it, you can uh, level up for free five times, but you, there's a catch. That's all I can say. It's okay, mate. There's no need to say more. It might spoil it for me, but uh, for now, I th I believe I'm not gonna do that. Uh, as I said, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it w way late in the game. But um, by that time, I do believe that this guy is gonna be more clear to me. Because he seems kinda... He looks weird, he talks weird, his pur entire purpose was weird. And what he is saying said, right now... Alas, the magic of Londor is a far... But I can teach you what I perhaps... I believe that I can help. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly but those branded by the dark sign. Possess quite something quite special. Be safe, champion. But I honestly don't trust him. I'm gonna ignore him for a while. Maybe I'll buy from him stuff, but yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be taking taking it right now. I hear something. Maybe that's the dog on top or something. I don't know. Okay. So you told me that I missed someone. Maybe I forgot that I talked to him and uh, I simply didn't mention his name or maybe I actually missed someone I mean the, the swordsmith is the blacksmith is actually on top right here right 
Admin to the left, that's where we found those stuff. Then we have the blacksmith. Nothing is here. We have the lady, the old lady, and uh, the actual lady. We, we talked to both of them. I'm gonna talk to her again because it's been a while since I talked to, him, uh, talked to her. Same thing with the uh, blacksmith. I see nothing here. I believe we're gonna get someone new to be here. And uh, this part, there's nothing. Also, I believe we're gonna get someone new to be here. Uh, since we're gonna go back from the staircase, then I'm gonna just... Uh, uh, talk to the blacksmith, then the old lady, then try to check out the other area. Ah, the which is good to see. What needs smithing? Nothing needs smithing, but I want there to talk to you. There are two ways to smith. No, I've actually talked to you, and you have said all these things. The stone, it's my prep in battle. I thought he was going to say something. Pretty be careful. Pretty be quiet. Ah, uh, let's talk to the lady. Ah, have Ashen one. If my wares bring me umbr with ash, is it not? <laughs> That's what she said before, okay. Ash in one, be sure. Let's talk to her. Welcome home, speak thine. Ash in one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for sovereign life. I will show Ash in one. I thought maybe Hello, someone will talk Ashen to me one. about that guy on the, at the bottom. I did talk to this guy, let's see if he says something at else. The foot of Lothric Castle. If no, nothing. I've talked to this guy on top, on the throne. I see no one else on the throne. This thing right here drops me to the mage, yeah. Up here I found- oh! He looks like Lucille. This guy is new. He looks like Lucille. Uh, her name was Lucille, right? In uh, Dark Souls 2? Mm. Unkindled, are we? And fast on the trail of the Lords absconded? Then these red eyes are for you. He gives me stuff to invade other... other people. Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> No, that's different. I need to read this. Wait a minute. He he resembles Lucille. I think her name is Lucille. But extremely resembles her. I mean, he is wearing a mask. He is standing the exact same way. Same hat. And she previously said that she had a brother. I think she had a brother. Didn't she? And she was trying to uh, live up to his, or maybe uh, someone he, she loved. Uh, I don't remember. I need to check her back again. Pillage embers for briefly heightened strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> Pillage and what else? I'm not gonna say anything else. Okay, but I assume that's the guy, right? I am overthinking it. <laughs> but for real, I mean, come on, come on. You can't tell me that this guy doesn't really resemble Ru Lucille and she had someone and she was sad and she, I think she was uh, always competing. I remember she was saying that she's always competing with him and he was always beating her and then he died and she wanted to do something. I, I think that's what she said. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it's because it's the same designers and they kind of have to... Maybe he's from the same region or something, I don't know. But I think... I want to believe that it, it is the correct thing. <laughs> Consume to invade another world. So it is to invade another world. Online play item allows the single invasion of another world. Defeat the host of Ember. The character dies perfect seems. As a Leon Hard. Ring finger Leon Hard knows all too well. Who's Leon Hart? I've heard his name before. Lucat Lu Lucatel was an honorable knight. This guy wants you to pillage and invade. Yeah, I thought maybe. Um, I wasn't saying that. I, I'm not saying that she is him. You know, I'm just saying maybe she knew him, and when he died, he got corrupted. Remember the the remember the knight that uh, because you know when you you go undead you kind of start losing your uh, brain hey mate how are you 
a random duck. Um, I was telling the guys that uh, I'm kinda honoring the guys that um, followed me first. You three and uh, Fatima also. Uh, so your names are all on, down there in the below the description. Uh, you will stay there as long as my channel is up. You will always stay there because I really appreciate you being the first to support me. So your names will always be there. Thank you very much. But yeah, uh, I was saying that uh, Lucatel, Lucatel, uh, uh, not Lucatel, the, uh, this guy in Dark Souls 1, not the same guy, but in Dark Souls 1, he lost his mind and he started attacking you. At the beginning, he was just a person. And then he said that um, you can invade other worlds and stuff like that, so he kind of started losing his brain and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, actually, my, Fatima is my wife. She is right here. That's why actually why she is way on top of the list because she is actually the she actually <laughs> is the best and she supported me way hard and she's right here actually. <laughs> yeah, the crestfallen knight. That's the one. That guy, he kind of lost his mind. Then he started invading other worlds after a while. Then he got completely insane and he attacked me. So I think because he wanted souls and he it got to his mind. So I thought maybe maybe Lucatel knew this guy because before life and before she dies and before he dies because she said that she knew someone. Then he died and then slowly he started losing his mind and he became this because he has a full mask. She had a half mask. Yes, exactly. When you go to the ghost area, he goes hollow. And I feel like this guy is almost going hollow. Yeah, it is different. It is different, but you know, because sometimes I feel like it's not that different. I mean, for example, let me let me just point out some stuff. I mean, I know that a lot of people already theorized and gave a lot of good ideas about it and stuff like that. Ring finger Leonhard is. I uh, I figured. This could be him because when I read this, it says it here. As Ringer uh, all uh, knows all too well, so he is invading a lot. And uh, this lady right here, she actually resembles resembles a lot the uh, old ladies at the beginning of Dark Souls 2. And her, she protects these. You know, I mean, all I can say is that Dark Souls is. Um, beyond death so who knows how the time frame uh, timeline goes you know I don't know yeah, I am okay okay I'll wait I'll wait uh, this means I should be quiet <laughs> yeah and the curse of never dying okay well just to keep you, uh, just to update you, mate. Um, we actually reached this area. We beat the first. I think this is uh, not the first. The second. I don't know. I mean, uh, the judge was the first boss. This is the second boss. But I mean, I don't think the judge was even fit for a boss. But yeah, we reached this area. We got the sorcerer, and we got the ring. We cleared up that part. I've been playing for about three hours, and my back starting. To kind of hurt you know so I think and also I have work tomorrow so I think we're gonna uh, end the um, end the broadcast uh, in like five minutes or so or maybe now I don't know but yeah I'm really glad that you joined in because I really wanted everyone to I wanted you uh, three the three of you to be here so I can tell you all of you that I really appreciate your supporting me and uh, I wanted to tell you that your name will always be on the channel because I, I really think the first guys to support me are the best guys. I don't think it's cha it's by chance. It's uh, a lot of people go for just the most famous people, and they think um, you know they want something guaranteed. You taking a chance on giving me a chance, you know, um, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. And if if in a million years or so. 
this channel becomes something I'm gonna make sure that uh, you are well rewarded because I really appreciate everything you know yeah 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 it is the beginning of the game so I can uh, uh, what the first problem yeah uh, he is the first proper boss uh, so yeah um, I do have some information just a little bit of information but I like to kind of keep it rolling you know sometimes if I don't think stuff over and over and over uh, it kind of goes like at the, at the back of my mind and I don't link it to other stuff so I prefer if I'm always attempting a link always attempting a link and then I come back no. Uh, and I think the idea will keep improving while I go further and further. And I oh yeah yeah I'm aware. I, the the thing I wanted to do is stand here and look with the binoculars because way on top there I saw some stuff but it was kind of far in the distance so I couldn't really swim see much. No thank you mate thank you. So yeah, this this is the cathedral or whatever thing castle I've seen from the top the roof doesn't look like much it's, it looks like the place where you find fight the gargoyles in uh, Dark Souls 1 but it doesn't really look like the place where you are supposed to be fighting a monster it doesn't have like things standing out and I still don't really see any of the monsters which is a shame I loved that in Dark Souls 1 and 2 that you were always capable of seeing monsters at some point you know let me just uh, oh should not do that let me just go here I don't want to fall I don't want to fall okay there we go let's use this there is something down there that's stupid why did he push me back okay let's oh oh crap I should not do this hmm. The fire there is interesting, but it's on multiple locations. The Drake we've seen, and I feel like we should be we should be going to that direction at some point. I'm not sure how though. We have this part right here. I've seen we took the sorcerer from there. Do I see him? Do I see him? I mean, beside the dead guys, I don't see much. There's a pathway to the left with, with higher resolution uh, textures, so I'm tempted to say that that's a place to go. The guys say that it's at the bottom of this, there's something, so I'm tempted to say that there's something there. I see no monsters though. Like, I see the Drake. And. On this side, I see nothing. I always have a thing for Dark Souls 3. This was the first game I streamed to, and this got me affiliated and helped me grow. I tried to stream. I try to turn the paper whenever I can. Um, I really get that, and I think I will be doing the same. You know, I I keep watching low streams now, uh, like less uh, famous people nowadays, more than uh, more famous people. It's good to watch some of the high, you know, like uh, well-known uh, YouTubers and streamers. But I think it's more fun to watch the other ones. A boss? Are you talking about a boss? Like, I see nothing here, for example. We came from that direction. I see something way on top of that, but I don't think that's something like to go with. I see nothing here. Nothing here. I thought there is a cave, but there is no cave. I see nothing on top of these towers. Okay, okay. 
I've been to the left. I got something from that guy. Oh, what crap. Okay, let's go to this. Oh, I ooh, the giant there. That is something else. Let me let me just check that. Honey, look at this. He's so far, but he's gigantic. See? He's really, really far in the distance. Can confirm to our friend. You're talking about this guy, right? Yeah. I mean, I imagine his bow is gonna be a pain. I mean, remember the um, the knights in uh, Dark Souls uh, One? I think I I'm, I want to say one, uh, where you were like walking on a thin ledge, and they were sniping you from far away. Those things were monstrous. They they would just one shot you or just push you off the ledge, and it was. Yes, exactly, those guys, Silver Knight Archers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think this is the, the this game's version of them. That was a pain. It took me like four or five times to just get past that area, you know? They were really, really annoying. And nothing blocked them. If you hold the shield, it goes off and pushes you. That, it's, ah. I don't want to remember this. <laughs> but that is something. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything else? Anything else I can see from here? Let me just stand on the edge and look at it a bit closer. I see, no I see nothing else. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, usually, my screen just went off. Good thing all there is is one. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah I think this guy is gonna be more than enough. It's similar to the Axel and the Dust. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Are oh, these tiny guys? Yeah. You're tiny! <laughs> okay. I wonder though, why did that guy send off the dog on them? Okay, I think... A tiny spoiler! Just a tiny one! He's using the the bow from the other guy, the other giant in Dark Souls 1? Look at this. Yeah, the guy is crying. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> okay, but it's not that, that spoilery. It's it's fine, it's fine. But uh, these are the cages that they uh, were delivering the sacrifices I believe and I think it's gonna be at some point where we are gonna see that gate that he said not gate uh, pathway or something like that okay okay alright well uh, yeah no I know I know mate I know <laughs> um, I, th I think you said that he used the uh, bow it, it is a lower thing and I I actually don't mind because uh, I don't think I remember the uh, giant in Dark Souls 1. Um, I did play the DLCs but I'm not sure if I... Yes. Did I see him? I played some of the DLCs, not all of them. At that point in Dark Souls 1 I didn't even know that the DLCs were... You know, you can access them in a very specific ways. Like in Witcher and other games you can access the DLCs from outside the game. And they were not actually something you, you could miss, you know. I mean, Dark Souls is different. You can miss the DLC. You can just run past it. Like, for example, the uh, the canvas with the uh, the painting, the painted world. I think it was name uh, the name was the uh, of the DLC. 
you go there and you just simply miss it you know you, I actually missed that I didn't even play it I that's why I want to play the remastered version I missed the DLC at that point and I'm not even sure if I actually remember the giant I'm not even sure if I actually did that Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, that that would be great. Actually, when we reach that point, it would be great if you actually. Uh, sometimes, if you could remind me, that would be perfect. Because uh, with my job, my job actually is really, really long, and uh, I have like um, very little time. So I played Dark Souls one, I think, three years ago. So I don't even remember it much. You know, I think so, something like this. So um, I think three years or something like that. I don't even remember. So I remember some some stuff here and there. But not much. So if when we reach that point, it would be great if you if you let me know. And uh, in Dark Souls 3, I don't even have the DLCs. First of all, do you think it's they are worth it? Secondly, uh, are they sneaky also? Like, are they hidden DLCs, or are, am I gonna just be able to access them? Do you think it's worth buying them? Because I'm on the verge of buying or not buying the DLCs honestly I'm not even sure yet because I love Dark Souls it's one of the best games ever you know but um, the, the idea that I could miss the DLC and simply not be able to play it unless I replay the game that kind of put me off at some point they are good Okay, all right. All well, this sells it, I think. Okay, I I think I will buy the DLCs. I think so. I think I'll do that. Thank you, guys. Um. Okay, I. Uh, there's... <laughs> Who doesn't show until I visit? What? I don't get this. Um. Uh, for me, the uh, I think he was saying I'm not sure. I think he was saying sneaky about the uh, the, the old DLCs. They would. It's really. For example, uh, beside the painted wall, there's another DLC where you try to go for. Um, uh, every time he says uh, talks and talks, I don't know. Uh, the the. Um, there's a crystal guy, I think, at be way behind the Hydra. If you kill him, you get something from him. You give it to the lady, and the lady takes it to the DLC. That was really hidden, and that was one of the few DLCs that I actually got, you know? Are you guys talking about something in this game? Okay, alright, so this is, uh, if I buy one of the DLCs, we're gonna get a, a guy, I think he's gonna be at Fairling Shrine, he's gonna be talking over and over and over, until you either kill him or you actually uh, figure out the DLC, how to enter it and stuff like that. That's what you're saying.
Okay, well, I think this this kind of settles it. I'm going to try to, uh, since I'm playing the game right now, then I think I still have a lot of time for me, you know. Uh, I will wait for uh, uh, for a discount or something, for a sale. If we get a sale, I will make sure I actually uh, buy the game, uh, buy the DLC. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Alright, uh, okay guys, um, I will be ending the stream, but just in case, you guys were asking me about uh, the um, how to set up the death count, right? So, the death counter, uh, if you're using OBS, uh, I'm, I've just switched off, so we are not going to be hearing the game anymore. But if you, sw if you uh, are using OBS, you have... Uh, okay this link I'll just copy it and put it in the chat okay this is the link you can use it this thing is for the death counter you can uh, uh, if you want there is a tutorial if you want I can send it to you I think Rover you were the one asking for it right uh, I'm not sure if you, it was you or someone else you guys just saying goodbye Bye. so yeah uh, this count this thing if you uh, if you set it up correctly if you press plus you're gonna increase the uh, uh, yeah, you're gonna increase the um, uh, the discount. Well, let me just open OBS just to make sure that it is working. Okay, so if you press plus, uh, I think you can uh, program it. Press plus, uh, and it's gonna increase the discount. Minus lowers the discount. Uh, the discount. So yeah. All right, guys. Um, I um, I am gonna be ending the stream here. I wish uh, you. Yeah, I wish you the best of luck and uh, mate the random duck. I wish you were with us since the beginning uh, We've gone through a lot of fun stuff, but yeah <sighs> Okay, <laughs> you don't die as much. Okay, okay, I see I see <laughs> Backslap, okay <laughs> Tiny um okay mate all right all right guys well thank you very much for joining me this time also so it's it's been great i will see you uh, probably if you can uh tomorrow about the same t uh, same time i think uh, i ha i've also installed uh, right at the bottom uh, a timer where the next stream is gonna start so uh, i think this should help and i have a schedule also down there and also i followed all of your advices i've uh, added the rules regulations and everything you know anything uh needed the information my pc specs everything is there also so yeah you can check them out all right guys thank you very much for joining me i will see you in the next time see you guys <laughs>